Hey guys, it's Char Junior Ryuki here. Just uh didn't really notice earlier, but uh it is uh downpouring outside right now. I knew it was starting to get cloudy, but damn it is it is pouring out of this bitch. It is just literally fucking pouring here. Got Destiny all lined up here. You can see. Got Destiny all lined up here. Gonna be playing some Destiny here. Uh, it is literally fucking downpouring. It's gonna be hard to see, but water is just coming down off of my neighbor's roof. It is just. You might have even have seen a little little boy out there too. He's probably he was just chilling out in the front yard. Uh, we're going to outside, going to go outside and enjoy this shit. And I'm filming all this on my phone, my new iPhone five. Hell yeah, let's go. Film, film. I got no fucking light whatsoever. It's gonna be rainy, some bitch. Ooh, we got a little lightning action. Check that out. Damn. Actually, I've seen a lot worse. But, uh... Let's go check out the dog. You gotta meet my dog. Her name's Kira. Probably a bad idea, but what do I care? She is just chilling. She is chilling in her doghouse here. Look at this little cutie right here. She is so scared of the rain. Just look at that face. Just look at this face. Kira! Just look at this face. Just look at her. You say hi, camera. Kira. Hey. <laughs> You're just a little cutie, aren't you? Yeah, that's Kira. She's a year and a year and two months old. <laughs> Gonna be. Not going anywhere, but uh, I'm gonna start this up. Kind of awkward filming right here. Uh, let's talk about Teen Wolf real quick. Let's talk. Turn your ass down. Let's talk about Teen Wolf real quick. The last two episodes I was going to do a review on my other camera because I've already done that I have yet to upload them yet but uh Teen Wolf episode 8 and 9 season 5 and 2 days there's going to be a fucking summer fucking season 5 episode 10 finale of Teen Wolf and it is going to be fucking awesome we're finally going to see the fight between Scott and Liam. And Liam has a new look to his transformation. And it it looks pretty cool. Um, it's obvious that CEO finally reveals himself of his true what he true his true intentions. Especially to Styles, and Styles lays him out. He lays him, he knocks him on his ass. Ass. That'd be one of my favorite Styles moments right there. That's going to happen in episode 10. And I hope they continue that that uh, part B of season 5 starts soon after. Because I don't care if it has to start around right in September or fucking in October. It has to fucking start right fucking now. Because I want to see if the fight against the Dread Doctors continue. 
that this isn't the end of the Dread Doctors. That this has an end, end, end of the fight. And hopefully Scott can get his pack together. And they can fight against these guys. And win. And maybe Scott, even though it, it's against the thing of a true alpha to kill. Scott might not have his choice against these guys. To go full power alpha, like full bore, full drive. You know, let it rip, fucking unleash and live in ass-kicking hell against these guys. These were guys were once human. They're not really anymore. They've been taking lives all over the fucking place. Probably more lives than any other opponent that Scott and his pack, Scott himself, has ever faced. So hopefully, things change in this episode. And one of the clips, I seen the seven seconds of the fight between Scott and Liam. That was awesome. Scott laid him. Scott gave him two direct punches to the fucking face, making the last one, the second one, laying him out on the ground. That doesn't mean that 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 the fight will end right there. We do say that Scott stops the fight, tries to stop the fight, and get not gets out out of his transformation to tell Liam. I'm, I can't stop, Liam. I can't let you kill me. There's obviously someone's going to die here. But it's not going to be Scott. It's not going to be Liam. It's not going to be anyone of Scott's pack. But Theo himself is still not a part of Scott's pack. He's still not. And he himself attempts to take Scott's power. I seen it in the clip, and an extra clip. Theo comes face to face with Scott and attacks Scott. Did I see if he was using the the very claws of Liam to to impale or stab Scott, or did he use his own? It obviously looked like he was using his own claws to impale him. See, only Scott's beta hit Liam could take Scott's power. No other werewolf could. So even if Theo managed to take the, ta the chance to do that, he couldn't really take his power. Could he have injured Scott for just a moment before he healed to grab Liam and impale him? At that point, maybe. But if Theo thinks him being a normal beta could take... Not being literally Scott's beta, could literally take Scott's power. He's got another thing coming. He's not just an alpha, he's a true alpha. So, Theo, you got another thing coming. Because, my own opinion, you're the one that's going to end up dying. In this next episode. In the finale, you're going to end up dying. You, Theo, and the Dread Doctors, your little partners in crime. Either one of the Dread Doctors will go down, or you, Theo, will go down. And that's, that's just how I see it happening. Because Season 6 is happening. That's awesome. And from what I know... Both Dylan's Styles and Liam, and even Scott and pretty much everybody else is Scott. Part of Scott's pack is returning for season six, so that's awesome. In my and also about Parrish, I think he's a phoenix. It's also assumed that he is a phoenix, but he could be a salamander or a hellhound. Either way, it's still pretty fucking awesome. Yeah, my neighbors are looking at me. I could really care less what they think. Um, this is Char Jr. Ryuki here. And this concludes this video. And one more thing. Please like and subscribe to Char Jr. Ryuki. 
I really appreciate you guys. And you know what? Unleash the dragon. Dragon Blaze. Hell yeah.